Good morning, church. Today we're going to be talking about God's gift of water. In the Bible, it's mentioned 722 times. I'm gonna be referring to a, a uh, PowerPoint that I've done here. So um, just when I turn my head, that's when the PowerPoint is on. But water is mentioned in the beginning and at the end of the Bible. In the beginning, it's Genesis 1.2. It says, the earth was formless, void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while the wind from God swept over the face of the waters. And at the end, uh, water, what we said is water is essential to life and was created on the first day. And it is almost the last words of the Bible in Revelations 22, 17, it says, the spirit and the bride say, come. And let everyone who hears say, come. And let everyone who wishes take the water of life as a gift. So water is life-giving, life-sustaining, and life-changing. This Sunday, we have a chance to give water to those who need it here in Phoenix. We will be supporting the Heat Respite Program at Grace Lutheran Church. Grace Lutheran Church has been part of Maricopa County Government Heat Relief Network since its inception in 2005. But beyond providing hydration, respite, and wellness checks during the summer months, the Heat Respite at Grace Lutheran Church has greater aims. In line with the mission of grace, the Heat Respite Program aspires to reach out not only to the physical needs of the community, but to their fullness as human beings. Water is available nine to five, Monday through Friday. As we look at the pictures, I'm going to read some Bible passages that I picked out for them. And this one I titled, God Works Our Hands. The reading that I have is from Matthew 10, 42. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. This is the ice chest at Luzern, and they've put it um, so that the ice chest is just inside the church, um, and so people can reach in and grab water, and any, anything with electrolytes in it also is very good. In Isaiah 48, 21, they did not thirst when he led them through the desert. He made water flow from the rock. He split the rock and the water gushed out. And here we have Grace Lutheran Church, uh, version of the opening of the rock. And in Isaiah 49, 10, they will not hunger or thirst, nor will the scorching of heat or sun strike them down. For he who has compassion on them will lead them and will guide them to the springs of water. This is a picture of the water and snacks and the ice chest and in Isaiah 55, 12, 55, one to two. Come, all who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money, without costs. Why spend money on what is not bread or your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and you will delight in the riches of fair. And here we have a picture of the people being uh, ministered to inside, getting out of the heat. They can't do this too much anymore because of the COVID-19, but they also provided entertainment and some of the um, uh, worship for them. And so this one, I, I thought of John 4, 13. Jesus answered, 
Those who drink this water will get thirsty again, but those who drink the water that I give them will never be thirsty again. The water I give them will come in them a spring which will provide them with life-giving water and give them eternal life. This area gives people and all the people who donate and pray for them a peace and a life that comes from God. This Sunday on August 2nd, you will have the opportunity to bring water and anything with electrolytes in it for the COVID relief. There will be two other ministries going on. You can bring non-perishables non for the Desert Mission Food Bank and the monetary relief offering for ELCA World Hunger. We are still accepting donations also for the refugees um, for toiletries. So in the end, I have a closing prayer. Dear Lord in heaven, watch over all of us each day. Keep us safe as we do our daily activities. The Bible has used water to symbolize faith, salvation, and sustenance. May the gifts of water bring refreshment and God's peace to all of God's people. Amen. <laughs>